I'm with Dr. Valerie Garrett, who I work with, and she's an internist, uh, as works with diabetes at Mission. And Dr. Garrett, I just ask you a question, which you answered the first time as clearly as I've ever heard it. Um, the high fructose corn syrup, why is that bad? How should we be getting good sugars in our diet? So that's very, very interesting, actually. High fructose corn syrup is unique in that when we consume it, and one can imagine a small drink or a large drink or a supersized drink, uh, it doesn't in any way suppress our appetite. And it's in a lot of the soft drinks. It's in a lot of soft drinks. It's especially in like sort of fountain sodas and concentrated sweets you might buy at the supermarket. And it's curious. It's a curious phenomenon. Most of the time when we consume a carbohydrate or some other type of food, including a liquid, if, there, if, the, if there's calorie there, we will feel somewhat satisfied. There will be some sense of fullness or a lack of hunger. High fructose corn syrup doesn't do that. High fructose corn syrup is just like almost like pretend calories, except so very not. So the reason to avoid it is because you will not reduce your carbohydrate load elsewhere. You will not reduce your caloric intake elsewhere. You will continue to eat and eat and eat because there's no satiety. There's no satisfaction. It does not satisfy. It just packs on calories and yeah. makes your blood sugar go up. And makes your blood sugar up. Contrast that to something that's like a better kind of sugar, uh, like the sugars and fruits. Right. So... Sugars and fruits, sometimes they're also fructose, right? Um, however, they are in a less concentrated form. There is a solid component to them, and, and you get satiety. You, get, you have a sense of satisfaction and fullness when you eat them, so you don't just continue to pack them on. So just better to always avoid, always. as much as we can, high fructose corn syrup. Just avoid it. Just avoid it. Thank you so much. That's awesome. <laughs> just say no. A nice little diabetes tip for today.